All right, so in this clip, we're going to finish up this first model by talking about the IES profiles on the lights for Renderman. All right, so let's start by creating an area light. So what I got here is basically a wall. This is the same backing as the previous clip. So I will basically increase the size of this area light. Then I will rotate it 90 degrees so we could appreciate what a IES profile will do. So let me go here and select my light and I will go and type ni negative 90 degrees. All right. So now that we have this, what I want to do is go and put this closer to the wall so we could appreciate a little bit of the pattern of the IES. So now that we have set up this, what I want to show you or explain you is what an IES profile. So the IES profile are basically this type of pattern of lights that any maker of lights will assign to the light bulbs when they build them. So basically this is really helpful, particularly for architectural visualization. But this is a pretty much a standard for any type of lighting on your architectural spaces. But in the case of rendering, these are very helpful because this will be a profile that will generate this pattern and you can plug in some files to recreate this so you don't have to do it. And this will enhance a lot of the realism and the beauty of your render because they are really nice patterns. These are just some patterns that basically I downloaded for this clip from the Pixar page, which are very cool and you can install it really easily into Maya. And we're gonna work with this, but you can download several of these patterns and explore a lot of this. So let's keep moving. So what I will do now is I have this light here and I will open my attribute editor. So here you have a tab, which is basically your light profile tab. Then you have a couple of options. So basically where you want to plug in your IS profile is here on your IS map. So I will hit here on this folder icon and I will go to my source images folder then I add the IS profile folder, which is the same that you can download from Pixar page. So I will go here and I will go and select a pattern that I liked. For instance, this tree lob umbrella. So I will go here and select my tree lob umbrella dot IS. I will hit open and then it is loaded. So I will see what we get. So I will render this one time and see all the pattern on the wall. So there you go. Right now what is going on is that the exposure is too low, so I will have to increase a little bit. But as you can see, we have this nice and beautiful pattern just by plugging in that IES profile. So you can create really nice and really beautiful architectural visualization lighting with this that will be or will look more real than just a square or a cylinder light or any other type of lights that are just flat. All right, so I will stop this render. I will just give it a try with another IS profile. And before I do that, I will talk about this distribution angle. So having this as 90, this will give an angle of 90, which is gonna be the most efficient angle for our lighting here. And when you work with IS profile, you would you wouldn't want to change this that much, but this is something that you can do. So for instance, let's go and type a value of 35 degree. So you will see how the angle of the light will keep the same pattern, but will be changing the angle of the distribution. Obviously this will change a little bit of the pattern that we used to have, but it's a very nice tip to have in more artistic lighting. All right, so I will stop this here. I will show you what happened with another IS profile. So I will go back to my 90 degrees here and I will go and let's see what we get here. So maybe I will go to a more extreme pattern. So I want to go maybe to, um, let's see, maybe this star focus is going to be good for us, maybe. Or yeah, maybe we could go with that one. Yeah, that's a good option. Uh, star focus. So I will go and look for it on my library here. I will go here, star focus, IS, open, render one more time. 
and it should be ready to go. So basically to wrap up this first model, we cover a lot of stuff. We went through the area lights, their shapes. We went through the basic render settings and the GI on Renderman, as well as the environment light and how you can work with IBL lighting. So this is how you can work with several types of lighting inside Renderman.